Hi, I'm going to teach you how to create a nine step value scale from Todd M. Casey's Oil Painters Color Handbook. The supplies you're going to need are pencils, a ruler, scissors. This brush cleaner is great. Uh, we're going to get some Gamblin oil paints. These are my favorite Van Dyke Brown, as well as titanium zinc white, a turpenoid for thinning, uh, some tape that you have lying around. And then this is acetate. Make sure there's paper on the back because we're going to draw on that paper. And this is clear acetate. Your palette, some brushes gesso and then i got this for free from sherwin williams just a paint stick will do or anyone you have lying around the house excellent so we're going to start creating layers i did about three make them even and let them dry in between then we're going to make an 11 inch rectangle one inch by one inch uh, the extra inch on either side is so you can tape this down so you really only need nine squares but you're going to have those extra inches on the end we're going to cut this bad boy out. Snip, snip, snip. Zerp. Awesome. Now we're going to tape it down with whatever you have lying around. Again, you have those extra inches at the end for this. The titanium zinc white, as well as the Van Dyke brown. And we're going to create our middle value here. Take your time here and make sure you really get it right because you're going to be working um, in from the middle. So once you have that middle value done, you're going to go from the white to the middle value and then work in for the in-between values. Make sure you have at least a dime size worth of each value that you create so that you can cover the acetate um, so that when you are done with this and you're gluing it down, there's no light gaps or leaks. Putting down that Van Dyke brown. And then we're going to work from the titanium white and there's our middle value. We're going to work in between those and create another middle value. And you're just going to kind of work like that. And like I said, make sure you create at least about a dime size of each new value so that you can completely cover that clear acetate. Really take your time mixing these and, and get them right. You know, there's no rush and this is just a really fun practice. Going in with our darker middle value between that original middle value and the Van Dyke Brown. And make sure they touch so when we do glue this down, there's no light leaking in between because it is clear acetate. And here it is, it's all wet and shiny. And we're gonna have to wait for it to dry because it's oil, so give it one week, no sooner. I waited multiple weeks because I have ADHD and I forgot about it. We're gonna cut off those extra inches at the end, be careful. Glue it down, I used Elmer's glue, shiny side up, zoom, oil paint down on our stick. Ta-da, and now you have a value stick. This has been super helpful for me, enjoy.